they're importing a sculpture. We got some dirt in here. Look at that. Is that some grass too? This was on the ground for a long time. You can tell with the yeah. soil it's it's full of that. dirt. I wouldn't consider this a handicraft. I would consider this something completely out of that realm. It's a sculpture. They have the actual dirt still falling off from there. So you can tell that it was somewhere for a very, very, very long time. It was dug out right from the dirt. If it came in legally or not, we don't know. We just want to make sure what it is first so we can make that final assessment. So let's find the other pieces. Yep. Another one. This is an even bigger piece. Well, what do you think they're from? Definitely have to call somebody on these things. Lift this one up so we can get pictures. Have you ever seen anything like that? Looks from like no. Indiana Jones movie? Yeah, right? Jungle, yeah. The sculptures all follow very similar patterns. So it seems like one person made this or the same group of people made it. Rock. Do I look like the same kind of rock? Yeah, same material. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of rock. Neither do I. Since it no longer has any materials related to agriculture, I have to refer it off to the inbound team to see what further action might be needed. Hey, officers. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? So these are a couple oh, of the sculptures my. that we found. This is awesome. So I'm with the inbound enforcement team. We're a specialized unit that responds to either artwork, artifacts, any type of item that might have cultural significance. I suspect they're monoliths. If it was new, the lines would be sharper. We'd probably see tool marks. But in this case, there aren't any in the fact that it's still covered in soil. We're thinking they're an authentic artifacts. This seems like a misrepresentation. They said they're $100 each. Based on other items we've seen, that's not an accurate price. We could see the line where it was buried in the soil. Can people bring this into the country? Because they no, said they this, have handicraft, you know? Like. The paperwork says it's a certificate of origin from Cameroon. We'd have to contact the Cameroonian government, see if this is legitimate, and make certain it's not falsified. This could possibly be a black market. If it does belong to Cameroon, the patrimony, I would highly doubt they would allow these items to be taken out of the country. And now we're gonna contact the subject matter expert. I got that funny feeling it will be significant, but that, that'll be yet to be determined.